The set comes pre-packaged in this inserter pack. What I do is rip off all the packaging pull the wiring out take the plastic off from above the needle and pull away the paper protecting the set I'm left with something looking like this I then hold the insert pack flat to my skin I press the buttons on the top of the set and the needle shoots out into my body. Then I pull away this pink packaging and I'm left with just a flat set to my body. This is what the set looks like. This is mine. Some people will have different ones because I've got a Mio, but you can get sets in different shapes and sizes to suit your body. So where do I get the insulin from? As part of the set change, I use a vial of insulin which comes in a box like this. Here is the vial. Then, I get a plunger reservoir. I unwrap it from its sterile packaging. And I plug the blue bit into the top of the bottle. Normally I would pull the pump up and down a few times just to lubricate it, but I'm not going to do that now. I will then pull it back and as you can see, insulin is filling the tube. Once I've done that, I just unscrew the top bit and I'm left with something that looks like this. I then get my set and I plug it onto the top of my reservoir. That then just slips in there and I've done a set change. It's a lot simpler than injections, although it may sound difficult, you only have to do it every two to three days to stop the insulin becoming unsterile and the set may be dislodging slightly. So as I said, it does look complicated, but it's really not. It's much less faffing about than having to inject every day. And I really like that about the pump. It's really simple and it takes away the diabetes element from your life a little bit. So there's a B for bolus button which you can press to give yourself insulin for your carbs. Your blood glucose reading will already be there because the pump comes with a monitor which Bluetooths your reading to it. I will then press act, then program in the amount of carbs that I'm going to eat. Say I had a piece of toast, that would be 15 carbs. I then press act and it works out the total for me. I can choose whatever type of bolus I want to do, one that just goes straight into my body or one that works over a couple of hours. And then I will not hesitate to give myself the insulin. So I'm going to show you what I'm wearing today and where I've put my pump to give you some ideas. So as you can see, I'm wearing a skirt and this tip probably applies more to girls than boys. Um, so what I did to conceal my pump and to make it wearable is I just tucked it into my tights in between your tights and your underwear, girls, because um, that's really helpful. It stays put and it conceals it quite well. Um, you can also get bands that go around your legs or your arms um, which can help you conceal your pump and it does come with a clip as I mentioned earlier but unfortunately mine is broken so I'm finding it quite difficult uh, to wear my pump at the moment because I do heavily rely on that clip but you can find ways to do it so that's one of them, maybe tuck it into your tights. So now moving on to the pros and cons of the pump. I made a little list to help me. So one of the pros is you have a lot more freedom with what you can eat. So I know that on a pen sometimes you'll have to stick to a ratio or a set amount of carbs that you can eat or you have to eat at meal times. But on the pump you can eat whenever you want to, however much you want to. Because there's a system where you can give yourself insulin for the amount of carbs that you eat. So another pro is different basal rates. 
So I know that on the pen you might have to give yourself a Lantus or a Levomir injection at night to carry over to the next day with base insulin, but on the pump you can set different basal rates. So at different times during the day you can have a higher or a lower amount of basal dripping into you. I find this really, really helpful because it means that I can have a lot tighter control. So say I usually go hypo at about 12. I can set different basal rate for that time to stop that happening and so it means my HbA1c when I go to the hospital will be better overall. That's a really good feature of the pump for me because I like having tight control as it makes you feel happier and better in yourself. So if you're looking for try to control then I really recommend that you look into a pump. The last pro that I'll be talking about is it makes you a lot less tired and happier. So I'm going to speak from personal experience. When I was on the pen my legs felt really heavy, I was really grumpy all the time, I had headaches, I really didn't want to inject myself because it used to hurt. When I'd get chained from PE, people would sometimes say, why have you got bruises all over your legs? Why have you got bruises on your stomach? I didn't feel comfortable going swimming. I didn't feel comfortable getting changed, maybe for PE or maybe for swimming. So it made me quite unhappy. But then as soon as I switched to the pump, you can easily conceal your set. And the pump sometimes is visible, but I just explain I have diabetes, I wear a pump. So I think that the pump improves your life a lot, it makes you less tired, it makes you happier, it will make you more secure in having diabetes. This is just my personal experience, maybe you like the pen, but for me, I'm really happy now on the pump. I can do lots of different sports, I can just disconnect rather than feel really self-conscious about my bruises. I recommend again that you do look into the pump.